The president's travel ban in Hawaii is a breaking news. Uh, CNN's justice reporter is Laura Jarrett. She's on the phone with details. Uh, this is uh, just coming in. What do you know, Laura? Well, that's right, Don. So a federal judge in Hawaii has granted the state's request for a longer-term halt of the president's revised travel ban. You'll remember just two weeks ago, a district court judge there in Hawaii, Derek Watson, blocked the revised executive order. But that was only a temporary halt. It was used through something we call a temporary restraining order, which typically expires uh, after around 14 days. And so the plaintiffs here, the state of Hawaii, asked for it to be converted into a longer-term preliminary injunction so that it could last through trial. And the judge agreed tonight, saying on the record before him, the plaintiffs have met their burden of establishing a strong likelihood of success on the merits of their Establishment Clause claim. And you'll remember that entire discussion from Judge Watson just two weeks ago describing what he viewed as a violation of the Constitution because he viewed that the revised travel ban discriminated against Muslims and disfavored Islam, Don. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting, again, this is another blow to the White House uh, and this ex the travel ban, this executive order, uh, again, and our Laura Jarrett is on the phone. This, Laura, this is a more... Um, not permanent, but a longer, um, I, I guess, a stay on this, on this, this order um, until there's actually a trial. A trial is set. Do we know when a trial is set or how long this might take before, before it goes on? No, this, so th yeah, so this is, what will, this will do is essentially place a pause on everything until either the Department of Justice appeals, and if in the event they manage to get this decision overturned, then that would obviously change the equation. But assuming nothing happened and the Department of Justice didn't do anything, right now it means they'd have to go through and actually litigate the merits of the executive order. So what this does is place everything on hold so that the parties could continue litigation. Mm -hmm. But obviously the Justice Department we haven't heard from yet, and they could easily now appeal this ruling to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals out there on the West Coast.